They require very tight management. They require a very good negative keyword strategy, and they also require bidding strategies that are going to make sure that you are controlling your costs. So that is going to be number three is bidding on broad match keywords. It's not necessarily something you should avoid altogether, but it is one of those things where it is going to expand your campaign to the point where you may actually see worse returns than what you might see with phrase match keywords. Now, number four, if we come back to our search term, so this one doesn't matter whether it's broad, phrase, exact, really for broad and phrase, it's going to be a bigger deal. But I always use this example is, and we could actually use the pool repair example. Uh, so let's just say, for example, I'm targeting keywords and I say, you know what, I'm going to target the phrase match keyword of pool repair. Well, what's going to end up happening is Google is going to take this keyword right here and say, okay, what is relevant to pool repair? Well, supply stores are parts, uh, videos on YouTube, how to do pool repair, how much does pool repair cost? So all of these different search terms that are not necessarily people further down the funnel, you're basically getting people that are in the middle funnel, top of funnel, and you will get some bottom funnel keywords. But essentially when your search intent is more broad, even if you're using phrase match keywords or exactly match keywords if your search intent is more broad you're going to see worse results so pool repair will not perform nearly as well as literally just pool repair near me will perform so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're targeting keywords with the right search intent pool repair near me actually implies i'm looking for a pool repair company so that is the keyword that you want to target as a phrase match keyword i would rather look at an account and see pool repair near me pool repair Charleston, and let's just use Charleston as the example. Um, so we could do pool repair Mount Pleasant, that is right outside of Charleston. And then we'll say uh, pool repair uh, Johns Island. I think that's pretty close too. Um, so basically any of the different cities that you service outside of Charleston, put those all in here. If you want to separate them by ad group, the reason to do that is if you have landing pages that actually match this search intent. So kind of getting further down, uh, you know, more advanced Google ads techniques, but essentially pool repair near me is going to be a better search term. Just targeting this as a phrase match keyword, than trying to build out all of these different keywords that might have really broad search intent and might not necessarily lead to the results that you're looking for. So number four is going to be keyword search intent just being completely off. Um, and also in addition to that, if you are using, even with the right search intent, if you are using broad match keywords here, you may still run into issues at times with like a pool repair near me. That's going to bring in competitors. It's going to bring in some low quality searches. It will require more negative keywords on your part. Number five is last but not least, very, very simple one. Uh, 